Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining our channel. My name is Sharif Abdesalam. I'm gonna be your host for the Imagineer's second course, The House, where we're gonna learn how to use Blender, Quixel Mixer, and Unreal Engine to produce realistic images, animations, and VR interactive developments for architectural visualization. So without any further ado, let's get started. Our case study is based on one of the NG Architects project. These guys are known for their contemporary and modern design ideas. So we have chosen the Villa TND. And this is uh, a great opportunity to learn how to reduce an image inside Unreal Engine using a reference image where we can gonna learn how to simulate the same lighting effect and also try to achieve the material and texture into our model. So. You can download all of these images plus also the blueprints where we're gonna load them inside blender and for the image references you can load them inside bureau this is uh, one of the best software you can use for uh, the image references layout and it's also free now inside blender if this is your first time trust me it's a good opportunity to learn blender as a modern tool and so the best way to learn a new software is by aiming for a target in our case, uh, it's the Villa T and D. We're gonna learn how to uh, start from a nothing to reach to modeling this uh, geometry using uh, the modeling techniques inside Blender. So we're gonna start by pressing A to select uh, everything and then pressing the delete button or X as a shortcut to delete uh, these objects. Shortcuts are the best uh, tools inside Blender to help you through the, your modeling process. Next, we're gonna adjust our unit scale. So going on the right side to your scene properties and to the units, make sure you have, you have your unit system and to metric and the unit scale uh, as one. The viewport movements using the mouse scroll, you will rotate and by pressing shift, also pressing the mouse scroll, you can uh, drag left and right moving from top to bottom seven on the num lock uh, will take you to the top viewport nine will be the opposite which is bottom one will be front right is number three and the number four and six will help you uh, rotate by degrees uh, on that direction so we're gonna start by inserting our blueprint image reference so shift a as a shortcut for add or from here you can add also the image reference so after the image have been loaded you will see that the rotation is not right to fix that just press alt plus r to fix the rotation and by going by pressing on seven on the num lock uh, numbers and then going to the object data properties activating the opacity we're gonna minimize the opacity a little bit so we have our image we need just to draw a line uh, as a scale let's assume for example that that door is one meter uh, width so we need to draw a line uh, on a scale of one but before that we need to adjust the pivot point to be on that corner of the line so we can scale the image from that point specifically so we're gonna move the pivot into this direction uh, assuming this is okay and then we're gonna insert a point from mesh by pressing shift a single vertex if you don't see the single vertex you're just gonna need to go to the edit preferences add on and type extra objects activate it and then you'll find the uh, single vertex next we're gonna extrude that point by pressing e and then you can see that there's a line coming up from that point so we're gonna press on one as our scale and then we're gonna choose the image scale it from that point making sure that it's exactly the same size so now that we have scaled our image uh, and scale we can start our modeling process so we're gonna start by defining where we're gonna start uh, our 3d coarser uh, and Z point so let's say for example we're gonna start from this point so I'm gonna shift and right click and then shift a press insert a single vertex and then extrude onto the uh, y-axis and let's 
bring it here and then extrude again into the x-axis over here and do the same if you don't see exactly where is the point so we can move it by pressing on G for movement defining which direction or which axis you want to move it again E to extrude so we're just gonna take this as a step by step at the beginning then you can continue your uh, modeling these walls by yourself so let's go to that point pressing G Y axis and then we're gonna extrude this point into the X axis but we need to snap it into uh, exactly in front of this image so we're gonna activate the snap and this is where you can find the uh, the snap button and when we we can when you press on that air, small arrow you can choose vertex and then we're gonna extrude that image and then on the x-axis you can see now we are snapping to that vertex again y-axis snapping to this and then to close the line what we need to do is just select these two points and pressing F now we can hide our image references and uh, this is a good time to set up our layer uh, arrangement so I'm gonna choose the image and press on M new collection and call this for example uh, reference image and then I'm gonna choose our line and press on M and call this for example uh, villa walls all right so now we can hide the image reference and focus onto this one so we're gonna click on tab and tab will basically take us to the edit mode where we can activate the vertex the edges and uh, the face the same thing we do in, inside uh, 3d max for example so we're gonna choose uh, the uh, face Oh, sorry the vertex and press a to select all and press f to create a face so we're going to extrude this face uh, to a height that is almost equal to the height of that image reference um, assuming for example that this is 2 or 2.2 let's say it's around for example 3.5 so we're gonna divide the extrusion into three steps this is based on our experience of modeling the architectural walls and exporting them to Unreal Engine to make sure that uh, the extrusion is not fully up to the end and then subtracting uh, your walls or your windows from that uh, object then it will create like unconnected vertex that you have to connect it manually so the best technique to do that just extrude let's say for example at the first part let's say 0.1 and then extrude again and this is gonna be on the Z direction and this is gonna be like say 2.2 and then extrude again and to let's say uh, I guess this is gonna be 1.1 so a total of 3.4 okay so this is now the basic idea of how to create uh, a wall from using a single vertex and extruding it to, cre to create a line and then uh, extruding uh, the face so next we're gonna create also uh, the second wall here so you can easily for example hide anything inside blender by pressing H to hide it sorry H to hide it and pressing alt H to uh, unhide everything or for example you can press on the forward slash to isolate your object and pressing again it will unisolate your objects you can also zoom in to your object by pressing on the dot beside your zero and the num lock so as we have said uh, during our uh, modeling process we will learn uh, these shortcuts and other stuff inside Blender. okay so for this wall also we're gonna create recreate it using the same way so we want to go to the uh, wireframe uh, by pressing onto these viewport option basically uh, the sphere here to select the wireframe and again we're gonna create our vertex so let's say for example over here 
a single vertex and then we can move it x-axis y again and select these two points and press an F then select them all press F then we have our face so I'm gonna hide the image reference Let's also activate the object wireframe by going to the overlay uh, viewport overlays and activating the wireframe so we can see the edges. So again, I'm going to choose uh, this face and extrude it by using the snap the same level. So I'm pressing Alt and H to unhide the image. Now what you can see is we have built our first two walls that we can connect them together by uh, let's say for example we can extrude from here this face pressing x e sorry and by using the snap on the x direction same goes here so this is now our first part of the wall so we can do the same thing here i guess this is the same height here if we go to the wireframe by using also pressing on the z to choose which kind of a viewport settings I'm gonna choose the wireframe and I'm gonna choose our wall over here let's make a copy from the top view so I'm gonna press on shift D to make a copy and also on the x-axis and same thing here shift D I'm just gonna press on the X to define direction and then we're gonna hit tab, press 1 to choose the vertex, G to move the, uh, the points up to that level. The same thing again, Shift D, let's put it over here, X, tab, and move the points. Sorry. And I just need to move it on the x-axis. I'm pressing on the dot button and selecting these vertex, moving them on the x direction here. Now again, shift D on the x-axis, pressing on the num dot button just to zoom in. Shift and the mouse scroll to move, drag again x. And let's through this face using this extrude let's go from the top view extrude it up to here and then we can choose also this face extrude in the y axis Let's make a copy of this wall onto the Y axis and rotate it into the Z by minus 90 degree. Move it using the G key. Choose the vertex just to make sure that they are aligned on the same direction of the other wall. And these as well. Now 
Alright, pressing on the Z again to go to the solid mode, hide this image reference. Let's also extend these small parts to finish the first part. Actually, we should. Alright, so unhiding everything, as you can see we have finished our basic uh, wall, there's a small part here that we're gonna extrude as well, and using the snap, just to make sure and snap to the same vertex on the other direction. Alright, so this is just a basic uh, idea of how to model these walls uh, of our project example. So, you guys can carry on on to modeling um, the rest of the interior walls and also the other floor uh, which is the first floor uh, walls so we can in the next video we can start by uh, unwrapping our uh, walls to get them ready to send them to pixel mixer and start to see how we can also edit uh, the material so hope this video guys helped you to start uh, your modeling technique inside blender using just a single vertex now again it is really important to uh, to do a, a clean and clear model before you send your project to a quixel mixer and unreal engine this is uh, like one of the most important steps before heading up to the gpu build or the material and the lighting effect if your model is clean, your render also will be clean. So, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any question, please share it down in the comments. And see you guys in the next video. Thank you.